Strategy Management Series Video Number 34, The Configuration School of Strategy Welcome back to the Ready MBA Series on Strategy Management In our last video we reviewed an example of how a fictional company could apply the Environmental School of Strategy In today's video We'll explore the last of the 10 schools described in the book Strategy Safari, the Configuration School of Strategy. Let's dive right in. The Configuration School takes a holistic and emergent approach to strategy formulation. It views strategy as a process of configuring the organization's internal resources, capabilities, and structures to achieve a sustainable competitive advantage. This school emphasizes the interrelationships and fit among various elements of the organization. It recognizes the importance of understanding the organization's structure, systems, processes, and culture in shaping strategy. The Configuration School integrates elements from multiple schools of strategy and emphasizes the importance of fit, coherence, and alignment in strategy. It recognizes the limitations of formal planning and emphasizes a more flexible and emergent approach. While it acknowledges the significance of analysis in strategy formulation, the Configuration School also emphasizes the need for adaptation, learning, and experimentation. These elements are essential to achieve a successful configuration of the organization's structure, capabilities, and resources. A comprehensive analysis of the external environment examines industry dynamics, market trends, and competitive forces to identify opportunities and threats. These insights play a pivotal role in shaping the strategic configuration of the company. By assessing internal capabilities, resources, and organizational structure, companies can determine their strengths, weaknesses, and areas for potential configuration changes. After conducting an analysis of the external environment and evaluating internal factors, the company establishes strategic objectives that are in line with its vision, mission, and long-term goals. These objectives serve as a guiding light for the configuration process, providing a clear direction for the company to follow. The configuration design is in line with the strategic objectives of the company. This includes making decisions about the organization's structure, processes, systems, and how resources are allocated. Experimentation and learning within the organization allow for flexibility and adaptation to gather insights, and to fine-tune the configuration to achieve optimal results. Implementation is executed by aligning roles, responsibilities, and processes. Effective communication is crucial to ensure understanding and commitment across all levels of the organization. Continuous monitoring and evaluation of the configuration measure its effectiveness in achieving strategic objectives. This includes measuring performance, gathering feedback, and making adjustments as needed. The company fosters a culture of continuous improvement, encouraging employees to provide input and suggestions for refining the configuration. This iterative process ensures the configuration remains aligned with evolving business needs. Now that we covered the principles of the configuration school, let's examine its pros and cons. The pros of the configuration school include its consideration of the interdependencies and relationships between various organizational components. It provides a holistic perspective on strategy, ensuring a comprehensive approach to achieve competitive advantage. However, a potential challenge of this school is that it may require significant coordination and integration efforts, particularly in complex organizations. Implementing a unified approach to strategy across different divisions or geographies can be challenging. It's important to be aware of the potential pitfalls and strategic elements that can go missing or overlooked when using the configuration school. One pitfall is the tendency to focus excessively on internal factors and neglect external market dynamics. 
it's crucial to strike a balance between internal alignment and external responsiveness. Another strategic element that may go missing is the need for continuous adaptation and flexibility. Organizations must ensure that their configurations can evolve and adapt to changing market conditions. The configuration school is particularly beneficial in several use cases. It is useful when managing diversification efforts, analyzing strategic fit between business units, or when seeking a unified approach to strategy across multiple divisions or geographies. Complex industries like manufacturing, logistics, supply chain management, and infrastructure benefit from configuration-oriented strategies. These strategies help optimize and align various components within the organization, enhancing efficiency and effectiveness in complex operational contexts. The outcome of applying the configuration school is the development of a unique organizational structure, systems, and processes that align with the organization's strategic goals. The deliverables of this school include organizational structure diagrams, process maps, system designs, and resource allocation plans. These deliverables help create an organizational configuration that supports the strategic direction and enhances performance. In conclusion, the Configuration School emphasizes the importance of a holistic and emergent approach to strategy. By considering the interrelationships and fit among various organizational elements, organizations can develop a coherent and effective configuration that supports their strategic goals. However, it's crucial to address potential challenges such as coordination efforts and the need for continuous adaptation. Combining insights from different schools of strategy can lead to a more robust and well-rounded approach. Thank you for joining us today as we explore the Configuration School of Strategy. Remember, every strategy has its strengths and weaknesses, and it's essential to find the right approach for your business. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Stay tuned for more exciting content on business strategy and management. In our next video, we will review an example of a fictional company using the Configuration School. Until next time, keep innovating and strategizing for success.